I didn't sign up for this. It wasn't supposed to turn out this way. We staged an uprising because you said we could win. Four years later, what have we got to show for it? It was a harebrained scheme from the start. You lot were behind this, so you can clean up the mess. I'm getting out of here until the coast is clear to return. You'd leave your compatriots behind. Well, look, it can't be helped, can it? The sword bearers need their commander alive so we can make a comeback. It can't be helped, you say. Yes, you may be right. I'll have to use your airship, of course. Well, good luck. I'll admit, this was a reckless plan from the outset. A great battle against a powerful nation, outnumbered 100 to 1. Such a thrilling opportunity. But I was not able to keep my subordinates in check, leading to the scourge of the toxic mist and the death of the Fire Vestal. The toxic mist decimated the main forces of the Shield Bearers, but the Black Blades did not escape unscathed. The death of the Fire Vestal caused Mount Karka to erupt, sealing the way into the temple. And then, you arrived. You introduced me to the way of the sword, Master. You taught me many things. About values, standards, and good and evil. It's fair to say you had a great influence on me. My father was always concerned about his work and his ideals. He found little time to spend with me. Tell me, Master, were the things you told me about righteousness, strength, and bravery all lies? That we should help the helpless and face strong foes without flinching? I cannot fathom why you have lit the fires of war in this realm, causing strife to so many innocents. I still find it hard to believe. This is not the man I know. He would never do this! You let sentiment cloud your mind, Adia. You are still as earnest as you were when you were a youth. You never waver in your disgust for recreant behavior. You condemn all that runs counter to your beliefs without fail. In a way, you remind me of your father. What? You see him in me? Yes, very much so. But you are still a child, unsullied by the world. There are no certainties in life. Righteousness and truth have a different meaning to each and every one of us. If you try to see the world as merely black or white, you'll lose sight of its true nature. Many are quick to treat us as children. But they simply use that as an excuse for their own corruption. A warrior's pride is not always compatible with the responsibilities of a commander, Adia. If I could act as I see fit, everything would be easy. But that is not the case. The same goes for your father. And someday, for the wind vestal you accompany. Oh. Don't compare her to you or my father. Anya's act for the good of the world. She fights to carry out her mission, no? 
blood and tears are shed in its name. It is no different for your father, Omi. Mission? No different? You and your soldiers plunged the world into turmoil. You started a war and took the lives of so many. How can you say Agnes is like you? If you cannot see beyond the surface, then perhaps you will never understand. Do not be so blind. You must not lose sight of what is most important. I thought I had taught you that. Enough sophistry. It is underhanded. That does it! I shall go to help Agnes awaken the Earth Crystal. <clears throat> if that is your decision, I hope you are prepared to live with it. I am. I'm ready to fight any who get in our way. Even you or my father. Very well, then. I see you have made up your mind. Estimated your conviction. Will you hear your master out one last time, Adia? Of course. Take the time to speak with your father properly. If you do not, I see nothing but tragedy for you both. End this petty dissent between father and child. Master. You two were always so difficult. Master! You did what? You went to the Temple of Fire? There was a way in through the Mithril Mine? Yes. We have awakened the Fire Crystal. That should quell Mount Karka's fury. 
That is excellent news. Thank you, Wind Vestal. We owe you and your companions our thanks. One thing. After we awaken the fire crystal, all the veins of ore in the mine disappear. I see. Oh, no need to look so dejected. This is actually good news for us. After all, the mithril warheads the sword bearers fired upon us were a source of great concern. This should change the course of the war. If we are lucky, it may end soon. Once the eruption of Mount Carcass subsides, we will also work to restore the Temple of Fire as quickly as we can. I would appreciate that. The Fire Vestal should be given a proper funeral without delay. After all, we were only able to awaken the Fire Crystal through the help of Ego here and the Fire Vestal. Is that so? Fine work, Ego. You have my thanks, too. <laughs> what will become of the Canary Boys, who were working in the mine? They were all without homes to go back to, so we will harbor them here in Heart's Child. The townspeople will see that they are cared for. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be seeing your friends again soon, Abel. Yeah. Well, you are all tired, I dare say. Please get some rest while you sojourn in Heart's Child. What's the matter, Eagle? I don't want to live in this town. What? Why not? I want to go with you! Huh? That's simply not... So, you wish to fight by our side, hmm? Oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to fight. But I still want to go with you. Please, take me with you. I'll do anything you ask. That just won't work. Even if you say no, I'm still going! Then we have a problem. Let's go to Commander Goodman's residence. We've decided to take Eagle in. My husband has agreed that it would be best. You hear that, Eagle? That's great news! You couldn't wish for a better family than the Goodmans. <sighs> I hope that when you grow up, we'll see an age free from the ravages of war. I would hate to see you end up a soldier. I believe your husband has what it takes to make that happen. Thank you for your kind words. Well then, Eagle. You take care of yourself. We'll be back to check on you, so be on your best behavior. <clears throat> I will. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>